cut the music up a little louder. Yeah. You had a lot of crooks try to steal your heart. Never really had luck. Couldn't never figure out how to love. And it's just not cool. I mean, and it starts at a young age and it grows and it grows. So if, if, if I can be a voice to come to a school or to even go out on the streets and let people know to stop that. These are the consequences that happen when you do these things. People die, you know, uh, people go to jail. Um, you know, the innocent person that was getting bullied starts to do things that he wouldn't do or she would do just because they feel like they're not protected. Let's protect each other, let's help each other, let's love each other. And even coming from experience with me, um, just in this past year, you know, just some of the consequences that I had to, to, to take on with some of the actions that I've done, you know, inspire me to even come and even move further in a positive path. So I feel like I don't just owe this to the world or to, to this one particular school, I owe this to myself and to my family to be here and do this. So, you know, by the grace of God, we were still able to touch the people, come out and give this positive message. We do it for the love. You know, we don't do it for the press. We don't do it for the cameras. We do this because we love to do it. So, um, if this reaches out to the world, then so be it. But we know we were here today. All right, what's going on, y'all? My name is Carlon Jeffrey. I'm from um, a Disney Channel show called Ant Farm. Yeah. Hey, I see you. All right. And um, personally, this is my first time like at a pap rally. So I can say that y'all definitely putting on right now, so make some noise, y'all. Yeah, yeah. I So now you got kids growing up, not just saying, oh, I can be a ball player, I can be a rapper, but I can take my A game, my education, and be present. I don't have to just play basketball, I can run the, on the team. I don't have to just be on the record label, I can own the record label. I can be, you know what I'm saying? So we're, we're starting to see that we can take our smart to a new level. What that means is sometime on the way up, when you're hearing the books, there'll be some kids that are insecure about what they're doing and they need to you. What you want to do in my estimation is not deal with them. Hi, this is Brittany Boyd Rover with For You Entertainment. Also, check me out on Hollywood Weekly TV and Magazine. I'm here with Maya the Giorgio. Yes, and you can also check me out on HollywoodOutlaws.com. That's right. It's a comedy network. Well, I'm a stand up comedian and I'm a film director. Okay, okay. So how did bullying directly affect your life? Are you kidding? Okay, look at me. Look at me. I'm actually half black and half Italian. So I don't know which side was whooping my ass at different times. So I was constantly on the run. In fact, if I wasn't on the run, I would have become a stand-up comedian. Because otherwise, I would have been a lawyer or something. Like that. Something fashionable. But, see, it's, it's the fighting. You guys, right. And not feeling like you fit in. Right. So it's already constantly not fitting in. And you. As me. Yes. Yes. Just like me, because mm -hmm. I was bullied. Yes. But, um, okay, so. <laughs> I, I think you bullied, she's bullied me. No, I have This is not true. Um. <laughs> you are the voice. You are the youth of today, and you're going to be the ones who change our planet. We're doing what we can today, but you're the future. So if you see a bully or you are being bullied, the biggest thing right now is dialogue. Talk to somebody. You gotta be a sport. You can just be a popular kid in high school. If you take a stand for those people that really can't stick up for yourself, I'm not saying fight them. I'm just saying necessarily be there for those people who can't defend themselves. I spent a lot of time with the people who didn't play sports, so whenever I saw bullies, picking on my friends or anybody that was so-called underprivileged, you know, I stood up for them. I chose boxing at the age of 11 for other reasons. You know, where I come from, I'm from Cincinnati, Ohio. It's a big sport, so number one sport. Honestly, I never had a fight after the age of 15. I never had to. It was beyond me to fight. Like, I, I didn't have to. I didn't have to prove myself. A lot of times I walk away from a person running their mouth. I do believe in one thing, though. I do believe in you stand for nothing, you fall for anything. You have to honestly dig deep within yourself and see your worth as a person. 
see what you want out of life, and not give in to what anyone else says. Don't ever back down. Let's get a question going. Here we go. I went to the counselor, and the counselor was like, well, maybe you shouldn't have done whatever you did to get bullied. Okay, I, 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 can, I can summarize. He basically just said he went to the counselor and let them know that he was being bullied and the counselor was blaming it on him. Find another way to expose the bully. Expose the bully. Because you not only help yourself, you also help the bully. I don't know. I don't know. You let them perform outside, so come rock with us, hold up. Hey, when I say Queen, y'all say Shaw, Queen. We're at Crenshaw High School at the NAACP Stop the Bullying Campaign and I have Nicole Brianna White. All right, and she was on the panel today and can you tell us what you learned about bullying today? Um, don't do it because it ain't right. Because you did Um, I did once. I did. You know what? I did. Oh my gosh, I was a bully to my baby sister. It was horrible. And I tell her I'm sorry all the time. And I think it really affected her in a lot of ways. So you never know how you're affecting somebody and how it changes someone else's life. So you want to be the best you that you can to each and every person that you come in contact with. I wrote a book called Black Carpenter. And I'll leave you with two things since this is short. I want to empower you guys with the tools to create your own success. There is no such thing as luck in life, none of it. All right, we manifest and create our own luck by how we empower ourselves, how we choose to empower ourselves with tools, okay? Education, friendships, uh, spirituality, relationships with your family, your teachers, your principals. Those are what's gonna help you build that success, manifest that success. Have you ever been bullied? Um, I think, yeah, I think everybody's been bullied at some point in their life, but I think it's all about learning from your mistakes and, and you know what I'm saying, just moving forward and knowing the right things to do and inspiring change between people and you know what I'm saying, that's happening. How did you feel about the movie? Um, horribly, you know what I'm saying, I think it's, all, it's bad, like everybody when they're involved with that type of thing is bad, but um, my thing is, you know what I'm saying, when, if you've been bullied before, you, it's all about putting the word out there, spreading the word and you make sure that it never happens again, you feel me? The whole point of this is to make all of you feel good about who you are, where you're going, and what's important to you. These are folks that have made it. They want each and every one of you in this room to also have that same opportunity to make it. Because I always used to tell people, you know, life ain't checkers, it's chess. You know, this ain't checkers, it's chess. But I started to realize, you know, life ain't checkers and life is not chess. Life is not a game, you know. Don't play yourself, be yourself. I'm going to leave it at that.